Back now with the crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. Leaders in Mexico last night announcing a new strategy aimed at alleviating the situation. This comes as border officials brace for record high migrant crossings. ABC's Rachel Bade has more. Mexican officials unveiling a new task force to address the migrant surge at the U.S.-Mexico border, a move that comes after U.S. officials pressed the nation to do more to stem the crisis. Sources telling ABC News that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas pushed Mexico to step up immigration enforcement within their country, help reopen ports of entry, and encourage migrants to stay in Mexico. Mexico's foreign affairs minister heeding that request telling reporters after the meeting that as part of the new task force, Mexico will regularly meet with countries in Central and Latin America. The next meeting will be in January. One senior U.S. administration official telling ABC News that the U.S. is pleased with what Mexico proposed. The news coming as overwhelmed border officials brace for the arrival of this caravan, a group that's estimated to top 6,000 migrants. The month of December is on track to have the highest number of apprehensions ever, according to CBP officials. Some days, they predict, could even reach 10,000. Elsewhere in the U.S., Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott continues to infuriate Democratic mayors by sending migrants to their own cities, all on the taxpayer dime. New York City Mayor Eric Adams rebuking him. To stop the games and use of migrants as potential, as political pawns. But we need the state and federal government's help in resettling and supporting the 68,000 migrants still in our care, as well as those who are on their way and those yet to come. Mexican leaders also told U.S. officials that they'll crack down on smuggling. Meanwhile, back here in the United States, a sweeping bipartisan border bill remains stuck in Congress. Rachel Bade, ABC News, Washington.